kita Welcome back to Danganronpa V3 We're still in the middle of the investigation So, here we go Aww. Bush, I got no motivation at all And Motifani period is late too um, Father, why do you know Montefani cycle? And another thing. Never mind that. Perhaps this lack of motivation is due to a lack of hibernation. Yeah. Lack of hibernation? Yeah. I haven't been sleeping well lately, so I haven't really been able to hibernate. Mm -hmm. It's awful. What could be causing it? Ah. Is it because you have a lot on your mind? Huh? Is it because the graveyard shift pays bet a better hourly wage? Huh? Really? Is it because you don't want them to think you're just goofing around? Huh? Is it because you want to stay friends? Huh? Hmm. Is it because you want to watch it in real time? Gotcha. Hmm? Oh. That stupid Mona Kua and Cubs theater are stupid. Mm -hmm. I only had one picture last night. I thought it was just... I just... Uh, my... Monotaro! Pull yourself together! I, I feel like I'm forgetting someone important to me, but... Uh, I just can't. My head! My head hurts so much, I just can't remember. Have you forgotten? Maybe that's I for the best. Like From this point forward, let's start a new life for ourselves. After all, our baby is excited to meet his daddy, you know? Daddy? Wait, what? I'm gonna be a father? What a colossal death flag. I'll be surprised if he doesn't die after that. More importantly, let's continue the conversation where we left off. We understand Mew plotted the murder, but we need to find out who killed her. And in order to figure that out, we need to understand Mew's actions. So let's discuss her murder scheme step by step. I know that's important, but hearing you lead the conversation really pisses me off. Let's see. Mew manipulated the virtual world to use it as part of her murder plan. Don't just ignore me and start anyway. If she had succeeded, 
she would have gone past the wall between the chapel and mansion. And then, wham! Murdered me on the roof with the hammer. She would make the murder seem like it happened in the real world, and then pin it on Kaito. As for Mew's alibi in the real world, she could say she was locked into the virtual world. And in the virtual world, she could say she was near the chapel the entire time. Hmm. She'd make an excuse about how she couldn't reach the mansion because of the fallen bridge. She dropped... Then secretly passed through the wall she installed and took advantage of the loop. Yeah. After, she headed to where we were supposed to meet up, the mansion's rooftop. Oh yeah, Kaito was probably logged out around that time too. <sighs> That's when I saw Mew. Problem is, because of her murder plans, we don't even know where she was killed. She was killed on the roof, right? Kokichi told us the roof door was locked and that he couldn't get through. Maybe that one culprit killed her. That's probably what happened. The culprit killed her on the locked roof. Did the culprit lock the door to the roof? Perhaps. I don't think... If Mew did lock it, she would have done it when she called Kokichi to the roof. Even if someone came up, I don't believe she would change the target of her plan. She knew that Kokichi would come up later. Locking the door would be suspicious. Well, it's possible she didn't even think that far ahead. She was smart, but she was also really, really dumb. N no say such mean thing. Killing game bad, not Mew. Mew not bad person. Going to think we could have been friends if things different. That might have been difficult, even without this killing game. That wouldn't happen. Nah, -uh. no. Huh? Anyway, let's continue the discussion. If Mew was killed on the roof of the mansion. The culprit must have moved Mew's avatar to the chapel after killing her, right? So the next thing we should talk about is how they moved her avatar. Now we know the mansion and chapel were actually next to each other. But the problem is the wall between them. Only Mew was able to go through that wall. The culprit wouldn't have been able to. Then you're saying the culprit sent Mew's avatar through that wall? Yeah, that's the only way, right? But how did the culprit send Mew's avatar through the wall? I mean, it's not like they could have thrown her. Going to not throw her! We know. You couldn't because the avatar's physical strength was equalized. Physical strength? That problem! Going to know can protect everyone if that happens! Jeez, keep up with us. We're already in the second half of the class trial. Hmm. How did they send Mew's avatar to the other side of the wall? Maybe that thing has something to do with it. You know, the loud sound you heard. Because of that sound, you guys went to the side of the chapel. Right. That's when you found the dead Mew there, right? If so, then I think that sound and her avatar being by the chapel... Yes, there's no doubt in my mind that noise is related to this case. We need to figure out what that sound could have been. It might be the clue we need to solve this case. So what was it? It sounds... Like something slamming hard into something else. Stop saying that! <laughs> so what were those two things it could be?
Nee, hör ich den nochmal. That's it! I think the sound came from Mew's avatar hitting the chapel wall. The hammer, cell phone and lattice were there, but they were too small to make that noise. Ruling those out, the only other explanation is that the sound was Mew colliding with a wall. If that's the case, Mew's avatar must have hit the chapel wall really hard. He felt the impact all the way from the inside of the chapel. Yeah, that's the real question. Mew's avatar probably hit the chapel's wall with pretty considerable force. But why did it hit the wall with such force? Can you... Hold on, Kokichi. What's up with the way you're... T why are you talking like you know everything? Let's not worry about that right now. More importantly, we gotta solve the mystery. Fighting among friends is a waste of time. Friends? Us? Anyway, can we talk about that after we figure this problem? A way of transporting Mew's avatar that would cause it to crash into the chapel. Okay, Mew's avatar to crash into the chapel from the mansion's roof. There's only one way I can think of how to do that. Hey, Shuichi, as your partner, I'll give you a little hint. You'll what? Since the mansion was on top of a hill, the roof was pretty high up, right? Past the brick handrail, the roof was at a pretty steep slope. And the slope faced the chapel wall. On top of that, there was snow on the roof. If the culprit needed force to move the body, I wonder how they did it. She is talking as if he's got the whole thing figured out already. But I can't let him distract me. I need to solve the case. How to make Mew hit the chapel wall from the roof of the mansion. I'm going to find the answer. Uh, sled. Where is E? I need E. I need a vowel. <laughs> Slide, maybe. Or slid with an with a D. I mean, with a slid, not sled. Okay, I don't know. The culprit used the sloped roof as a slide for Mew's avatar. A slide? Nah, man. Even with the slope and the snow, Mew's body wouldn't have slid. Wrong. It would. But the avatars can generate friction. We wouldn't have been able to walk otherwise. So I doubt that it would have had that much momentum. No, no. It would. It wouldn't slide. Just like Maki Roll said. It would slide. Just like Shuma. Who the hell is Shuma? He's a pupil of Roman Man! Uh, sorry, my hobby slipped here. I'm positive that's how Mia's avatar was moved, but maybe the culprit used something else as well to help her body slide. The lattice? Even if her yeah. avatar slid off the roof, would it slide off that quickly? Well, duh, it would. If it made that much noise, it must have built up a lot of speed. Lots of snow piled up on roof, but not frozen solid, right? You'd still slide, though. In the real world, it might be difficult, but in the virtual world, 
perhaps not. That's not the issue. Sliding down snow is easy to do. You just need a sled or skis to cut the friction. There was nothing like that. That's wrong. <laughs> no, wait. There was something that could have been used to help slide Mew's body. Do you remember the lattice that was found by Mew's avatar? The culprit laid her on top of that, then used it as a sled on the roof. I did notice the lattice in the storage room when I first looked. But during the investigation, I saw that it was gone. The lattice that was found next to the chapel is the one that disappeared from the roof? Then that's it. The culprit used the lattice as a sl- Ding, ding, ding! That's correct! After the culprit killed Mew on the rooftop, they placed her corpse on a sled and slid her down the roof's steep slope. Who do you think the sled picked up speed, flew off the roof, glided through the wall only objects could pass through, and hit the chapel. I don't know. The impact made all of her belongings scatter, including the hammer and cell phone. Kokiji? Just like that hedgehog who loses all his rings whenever he crashes into stuff. I... I hate that guy and his worldwide fame and his stupid games and I... HATE THAT HEDGEHOG! Daddy... I'm glad you're feeling motivated again, but you shouldn't be so hateful. You gotta be an example to our new family. Yeah, father. Or should I start calling you grandfather now? Now that we know how the body slid down, we're just one step away from the culprit. Well, Shuichi, do you know who the culprit is? Yeah. In the end, we'll still need to guess the culprit, huh? But Gonta can't believe one of us killed Mew. However, since we know she was killed on the roof, we can narrow down the list of suspects. Meaning, the culprit must be someone who was investigating the mansion. Aside from Mew, the people at the chapel could not go through the wall or cross the river. So that means the suspects are Kaito, Samugi, Shuichi and Gonta. That's real sneaky. He leaving yourself chapel. off the I mean, list. He was in the mansion, yeah. Me? <laughs> oh, you. Four of suspects. We don't know enough to name the culprit yet, but one of them is suspicious. When we were talking about the rooftop, they clearly lied. But what reason would they have to lie? I'll need to press them for information before making any judgments. Well, who lied? Was it Kokichi that lied? Kaito? Something about the rooftop. Did he lie about the rooftop? No, he didn't. Oh no! Uh, I don't even know what the line was. Something about the line, the rooftop. Yeah, okay, oh, no. it must have been Kaito. I mean, Kokichi. It's you! Kokichi, there's something I need to know. Hmm, what do you need to know? Why did you lie just now? 
Which lie are you talking about, Shuichi? I lie a lot, so you'll need to jog my memory. Fine. I'll expose your lie right now. She had never went to the roof, not even for the meeting. It all began when you showed us the map. That's probably what happened up when culprit killed her on the locked roof. It was that testimony that bothered me. That's probably what happened. The culprit killed her on the locked roof. Oh, locked roof. Wait, the roof wasn't locked. Yeah, it was. Oh, they, they, locked? they locked it. You locked it? They locked it. Oh, they locked it. Sorry. I don't know if that one was locked. I don't know either. This one looks upside down. <laughs> I don't know, I don't think it was that one. I'm pretty sure it was this one. Oh, you have, you have to actually Yeah. Because for him to know that the... When you were explaining that the door to the roof was locked, you said... Yes, we were going to the roof. Not even who was meeting. But later, you said... That's a lot of specific information. Stuff you wouldn't know if you hadn't been there. Oh yeah! Now that you mention it, how did you know all that stuff? You could probably see the steep slope of the roof from outside the mansion. But, not the... but you wouldn't know about the brick handrail unless you went up to the roof yourself. Yep. Yeah, huh? huh? What's this all about, Kokichi? Did you actually go to the roof? I, I, I... D didn't I already told you that? Why you look so nervous? Is this a sincere reaction? But but there's no evidence that pr proves I went to the roof. But wait, I remember now. That <laughs> at the start of the class trial, I remember you saying the handrail was made of brick. Ooh, you so clumsy, girl. Got to be more careful there, Himiko. Himiko really say that? She totally said that! No, she didn't! Yes, she did! She did not! She did too! Then when? Tell me how long ago! In hours, minutes, and seconds! <laughs> Stop them, Grandpa! All this terrible fighting is bad for the fate! Yeah, Grandfather! Stop them before your grandkid is born! I'm not gonna apologize, cause Himiko said it! <sighs> so damn stubborn! How much longer are you going to behave like this? I don't have time for this. Look at 
Petrie is stubborn. He won't fess up, no matter what. But if he's being this stubborn, it makes me think he has something to hide. To get him to show his hand, I have to prove he was uh, on the roof. I might not like the like it, but I have to be aggressive. If we don't get the whole truth now, everyone's lives are at stake. Kokuchi in the I didn't salon. go to the roof. I've had enough of your lies, man. I'm not lying. The rooftop door was locked and I couldn't open it. So what did Kokichi do? I turned back at once, of course. And stayed in the salon the whole time, you know? Liars burn in hell, you know? Is this... We can't let it in! Mm-hmm. I didn't go to the Why? I've had enough of your lies. Lies, man. I'm not lying. The rooftop door was locked and I couldn't open it. So what did Kokichi do? I turned back at once, of course. And stayed in the, the whole time, you know. I'll reveal the truth. 